How you doing? Doing good. All right. So, finals took place. Game seven. The day after, the NBA goes in flames. And by flames, I mean great flames. I'm talking about down in the flames. The amount of things that have happened, I'm talking trades with Derrick Rose, Serge Ibaka. I mean, it's ridiculous. We can start at the top. So Derrick Rose, franchise Bulls players, now with the New York Knicks. I blame Trump. <laughs> you know, a lot of people uh, are really thinking that the Knicks just reach for that. But to be honest, I don't blame them for making the trade at all. I don't, I don't. Because they need someone that could help them now and get some energy back into that team. Derrick Rose was great. He's not what he used to be, but he's still a very I, I, productive I, I think player. I think it's a gamble. That's what I think. Yeah, and then yeah, Derrick Rose, Carmelo Anthony, and Chris Hop Perzingis. That's, that's a trio. And, and that's it could not work. a bad trio in, in the Eastern Conference that can definitely... Mm-hmm. Get you into the playoffs, Absolutely. and the people that are ripping the Knicks for that trade. What do you want them to do? Sit around and do nothing, and then try and lure a free agent that won't go to New right. York anyway. A franchise See, move, I think, this is smart for the New York. But the thing is, like with Derrick Rose being so injury prone, I'm not too sure how good that. That's the one thing I'm worried about. Just his injury prone. You know, he he's never played like a many seasons healthy so right. I'm, wondering, I'm wondering how that's going to work out but right. I mean maybe this might be the year we actually has a big season you know stays healthy and actually like you know shows us the Derrick Rose oh, that we yeah. all know I would, and love I would love to see Derrick Rose do something big for the Knicks next up we've got Serge Ibaka goes to the Magic I don't know what I don't know what OKC were thinking about that that's your that's your that's your that's your defensive that's your big man that's your big man like, <laughs> that's, that's your paint player I think right. I think the Magic gonna, are going to benefit from this tremendously. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what the uh, Thunder do to replace this because not only that, but um, is uh, K- KD isn't he in the air right now? Yeah, he's. I mean, I feel like KD after, especially after the you know that Finals exit, he probably is going to want to go to somewhere new. But I'm, I just wonder how they're going to replace Ibaka. Like, who are they going to get right. to replace? Right, that's him? interesting. But I will say this: that the Thunder got a lot in return. They got the number one. Two overall pick in Victor yep. Oladipo, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. who was taken last year. Uh, Erson Ilyasova, he's just a guy that comes off the bench, but he came to provide something. But also, too, they got the number 11 overall pick tonight, DeMontis Sabonis, the son of Arvidas Sabonis, mm-hmm. who was a longtime player in the NBA. He was very, very productive at Gonzaga. Clearly, Billy Donovan saw something when he was in college and uh, watching DeMontis Sabonis play. I really feel like. Those are the players that Billy Donovan wants there. Obviously, Serge Ibaka is more of a Sky Brooks guy right. in mm-hmm. the uh, previous administration. But I really think that DeMontis Sabonis and Victor Oladipo, those are guys that really fit into that Billy Donovan system well. And if, say, Kevin Durant were to leave, I, I think he'll end up staying. But if he does go, you at least have some sort of scoring option with Oladipo. Right. And a better option than Dion Waiters, more importantly, because Oladipo... Pl- scores and plays defense at the same time when Warriors could just score. Right. I mean, that's a team that could speaking, be the championship case. Speaking of stay and go, we've got Dirk right now who's opted out of his contract. Uh, does he stay or does he go? I know he's looked at the 20 years franchise uh, the face of the Mavericks, or does the uh, media crave of Clay, Curry, and Nowitzki happen? I think he ends up staying, but the people... I do as well. I do as well. But the people that say it's like a 5 or 10% chance are totally wrong. I think Dirk is going to give this a full oh, consideration. Oh, yes, absolutely. And I tell you what, I mean, we talked about this uh, before we went on air, that the Curry need defense, and Dirk, Dirk's just a big man. That's what he does. He's in the paint, and he, and he knows how to score. That fits right in with the, uh, the Golden State's offense and defense. I think that could be a huge hit, replacing Andrew Bogut. Um, obviously, that'll do some position changing. But what do you do? You run a five out, one person in the middle. I mean, that's that's big for the for the Golden State Warriors. I mean, and another shooter. Too. And another yeah. shooter, right? I mean, it's gonna be a lot. Cons- it's gonna be a lot to consider because I mean, I feel for Dirk. You know, do you need the franchise tag of the city that really loves yeah. you, or do you go after a potential championship winning team? Which, if he goes there, I mean, that's a uh, that's gonna be a really hard Golden State Warriors team to actually take on during the season. Right. And, and real quick, I know we need to need to get off air here, but. Uh, the biggest trade that impressed me was Jeff Teague and George Hill, uh, Pacers and Jazz. George Hill is a much better player than Jeff Teague, in my opinion. Um, and I think that the Jazz have completely scooped on this. 
Right. It's, it's an interesting uh, situation, I think. Uh, and the Hawks is a three-way deal. They yeah, it was. It was. Uh, mm-hmm. Torrey and Prince tonight with the 12th overall pick, which in my mind was a, quite a bit of a reach. He was someone in my mind that you should take in the low to mid-20s. Uh, George Hill is a guy that can score, play defense, and pass the ball, which uh, obviously fits in well with the Jazz. They're a very defensive-minded mm-hmm. team. And uh, at the same time, too, I think the Pacers were looking to add more of a scoring option. Jeff T provides that with them as well. In my mind, it's a win-win for both teams. Again, I think the Hawks reach for Torian Prince. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think uh, the Jazz got what they needed. The Pacers got what they needed, too. I thought, it was a, I thought it was a good trade for both teams, actually. All right, guys. Stay tuned for more music coming up your way.